In this tutorial, I will show you how to add place marks and labels. Okay, we've been building a simple um, map for a portion of the Bellamy River Wildlife Management Area. In um, past tutorials, we learned how to add polygons. And in the last tutorial, we learned how to add and edit paths. And in this, so in this tutorial, <clears throat> We will go ahead and learn how to add and edit uh, place marks, which um, many folks would, uh, if you're familiar with other mapping programs, um, would probably call points. And so uh, we will often use place marks or points to identify particular features um, that we want to highlight. And we'll also use place marks to create labels. So um, here in, in our study area, one spot where we might want to put a place mark would be to identify the location of the parking area. So in order to do that, I'm going to first shut off this driveway <clears throat> and then we'll add a place mark there. So to do that, we're going to come up here to where it says add place mark and we'll just click that. And so the place mark is uh, put right in the center of your screen. And uh, as long as it has this flashing uh, kind of yellow crosshairs, uh, we can then pick that up and we can move that place mark uh, wherever we want to. And so I'm going to go ahead and just um, for now, just pin it right in the middle of the parking area. And so we have some control over what this looks like. Um, first, we probably want to we will change the title. Uh, so maybe we will say park here. I'll just click OK. And so that may be just fine. Maybe maybe that uh, serves your needs. But we can edit this a little bit. Uh, and I can show you what some of the options are here. So we'll go ahead and, and click on right click on properties. And so we can change what the icon itself looks like. Uh, maybe we want to actually have a, um, a P for parking. We could do that. Um, we could, uh, for me, I often like to use just very simple um, icons, either uh, simple squares or circles with, with dots. Uh, I think it's a little bit neater, but again, you can choose however you want to. Uh, then we can change the color of the icon. Uh, maybe we want to have this yellow. And again, once you actually click OK, it will change down here. It will change the color. One of the unfortunate things about Google Earth is that we don't have a large amount of control um, over uh, the font and where in relation to the, we actually have no control um, regarding where in relation to the icon the text is, um, but we can make a few changes here. I'll first show you how to uh, make some edits to the font itself. So uh, we can do that in a couple places. Um, we can come up here to properties and in style and color, uh, we can come over here to change uh, the label. We can actually change the label color. We could make that text a different color. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it white for now because I think that shows up the best. Um, we can also change the scale or the size of the font to make it show up a little bit easier. <clears throat> And um, if you want, and well, I'll click OK. If you want to actually change the font itself, the way that you would do that is you would come up here into Tools, into Options, and then in this 3D view, we can come over here to Choose Font. So maybe we wanted to, um, you could change it to um, any, any, really any font that you want to, and hit Apply. I'm just going to go back to I'm just going to go back to where it was. Right now, the text is actually um, somewhat over the icon. Uh, we can change that a bit. Um, again, we'll right click here, and um, this is just simply coming to the beginning and adding a couple spaces. And so we can by adding spaces to the beginning of our title or to the name of that icon or place mark, we can move the um, text um, away from the icon a little bit. So that's a little bit neater. I'll click that OK. 
Um, but again, unfortunately, I, I don't like the way that, that this is set up um, where uh, my text is over my trail because I want to, uh, maybe I want somebody to be able to see that this is park here so you can go onto this trail. So I'm actually going to, you kind of have to play around a little bit to see what works for the map in, in the situation that you have. So I'm going to change this icon a bit. Um, maybe I'm, I think I'll probably will just end up using a thumbtack. I'll probably make this a little smaller and uh, we'll say okay. And so that's fine. That makes that meets my needs right there. In this case, one thing that you may want to do is actually provide somebody with a, um, a GPS location um, of, a, of a feature that you have indicated on your map. I can imagine it would be very handy to have the GPS location of the parking uh, lot for the Bellamy Wildlife Management Area. So we can get the GPS um, location of that um, by again, right clicking and coming into properties. And that GPS location is right here, um, the latitude and, and longitude. And uh, these are in uh, degrees, um, decimal degrees. Uh, and so one thing that you could do is you could, we can copy this and I can actually paste it here in the dialog box and I will get rid of that little degree and I'll just put a comma, come in here and copy this, copy and hit paste. And I'll get rid of that degree. I could then uh, copy and paste this into an email or text this to somebody and then they would have the GPS location um, of the parking area here at Bellamy. So here, because I put that information in the dialog box um, of the um, element, it shows up here in the places panel. So I'll just go through the steps of adding that place mark again. Um, maybe there's a cool shrub over here that I want to I want somebody uh, to see. So again, I'll come to add place mark. Um, I will say cool shrub and I will then come over and drag my point um, to that cool shrub and I'll change the icon I'm just going to select this and I want the icon a little smaller so we can actually see the shrub on the photo click OK I'll make the font of the label a little smaller. Slide it up. I'll add a couple of spaces. Make it a little bigger now. And then I can click OK. <clears throat> and again, I could similarly, I'll right click. And if I want um, to be able to have that. Uh, if I want that GPS location to be visible here, if I decide that I, uh, in another tutorial I'll show you how to share this information with somebody and uh, to have those GPS uh, locations visible, you just add them into the dialog box. So again, I can come here and just copy, paste, copy, paste. Click OK. If for some reason um, you needed the, your GPS um, coordinates in a in a different format, um, we can change that. Um, and the way that you change those coordinates is you come up into Tools, into Options, and 3D View. Here um, is where you in under the 3D View you would come down to where it says Show Lat and Long, and you could change this into decimal degrees. Um, or really what, any any number of different options. We'll click Apply, and OK. And so now um, if you were to um, look at um, these GPS coordinates, they are in that format that you have selected. This stays the same because I already pasted it there. And I'll go back and change those. I like decimal degrees simply because it's easier for folks to um, to type into um, a GPS unit um, or into into your phone uh, to be able to find uh, the core follow the coordinates. Okay, so now how about if we wanted to um, create labels um, within these uh, 
areas in these polygons, these habitats that we delineated. Well, it's you, we just basically do the exact same thing. We come and we add a place mark, and um, let's mark this conifer stand. So we'll say conifer, and um, I'll go ahead and change this icon. I want it to be white. Click OK. Make it smaller. And so we could we could simply just create a um, a, a place mark just like we always have um, there. However, you may not want to particularly have an icon showing. You may just want to um, label uh, an area without the icon. You can do that. So again, we just go to properties, and we basically just make the um, we bring the size of the icon down to zero. Uh, and we can click OK. The only challenge, again, one of the challenges is that um, when there's no icon um, present, um, we can't actually then move where that label is. So if you, and you don't have any control where that label goes, um, really once the icon disappears. So in order for us to may, perhaps maybe center this a little bit more, We'd have to come back in here to turn the icon on until it shows up as this little crosshairs. Then we could move it, try to reposition it, and then shut it back off and click OK. That's a little bit better. So let's label our pond. And again, because the, um, it remembers uh, what you did on your last place mark and so the last place mark uh, for the conifer didn't have an icon and so the next place mark that I added also doesn't have an icon and so in order to move that I need to bring the icon back like that and we'll put this here and we'll say okay and we'll label this pond Just going to have to guess where this is going to need to be placed, and that clearly isn't okay. So again, you are seeing one of the challenges um, associated with Google Earth, and so um, you may just decide that um, it's okay for you to have a uh, an icon in an area that you're trying to label because that does allow you a little bit better control um, over where your labels are placed. And then we can add one last one for the field. So that's the basics about um, adding and editing place marks. We're going to challenge is that as you scale the map, your icons stay the same size. And so um, they don't scale with um, appropriate, I guess for me, they don't scale appropriately for for your um, photo. And so when I'm putting place marks in, um, I one of the first things I often do will first scale um, my photo to about the size that I would want somebody to look at it, um, because again, eventually we will um, be exporting this map. And so um, I, I first make the map the size that I want it to be, and then I can place, place, put the place marks in um, at an appropriate size and location um, based on how I have scaled my photo. And then again, you can just come back in, into these areas to, to tighten them up a little bit so you're 100% fine, uh, comfortable with the way that it looks on your screen. And as a general rule, what we're just trying to do when we're putting in labels is ideally you put that label um, somewhere near the in the centered um, within the polygon. And you just don't want the label to be um, overlapping um, with the edges. What we're trying to do is make it look as neat and clean and easy to read as possible. You do have one last um, option for changing your uh, the labels here. We can come back. Uh, again, I, we can come back up to Tools and Options, and again, we can make um, global changes um, to the 
um, labels, we can make them all smaller. Or we can come up and we can make them um, all larger. Um, and again, so we can just kind of make course changes. But for the most part, you've seen all of the options that you have for editing um, how the labels of the place marks are displayed.